All right, everybody. Uh, I've been getting lots of emails and messages about how I turned the Spirit Halloween Proton Pack into this modified version, which looks a lot more authentic. Uh, I was blown away when I received this because I've never owned a Proton Pack, so I'm a kid all over again. So I'll just quickly run off some of the stuff I did, which was very, very easy. Uh, first off, I bought this ribbon. That's one of the things I purchased. And I just used one of these electrical uh, holders. I don't know the proper name. Put uh, some uh, electrical tape on both sides here. Just screwed it in. I put in a couple other screws with washers in there. Another screw at the tip here. And then uh, some of the coloring stuff. All I use are these three Sharpie markers. So I have a black one, a silver, and a gold. Uh, I just went around and I I uh, colored this in, I put the gold here, I did some of the uh, edges here to make it look like steel underneath. Uh, I went over all the gold parts because I really didn't like the yellow that it came with. Uh, like here, here, I even went as far as painting these black and then painting the screws silver. Painting these screws all black. Just the little differences that make, a make all the difference. I also did it on my Maddie wand here if you noticed some gold and silver. And aside from that, I just purchased this uh, tape from a dollar store and uh, went around, did the red part here, and I didn't have any yellow wire, so for now, I just took this yellow electrical tape and went over it, and so far so good. I mean, until I run into some wire, I just didn't want to buy a whole bunch. Uh, this was one of the best, cheapest investment I did, just took some tuck tape, obviously don't use the label and put it on there so that way when your lights are off it still gives that red ambient. I did the same thing for the lights here, I just took the top of a Tupperware container and used that as the cover because it comes with a kind of a half blue, half translucent so I couldn't use that with the lights I, I uh, installed which I'll show later. Uh, other things I did, um, I had this in my basement, I used a uh, hinge uh, there and I just used the pin there. What I did is I drilled a hole kind of at an angle, went from inside the pack and pushed it in. So one of the tricky parts I had to grind down into a corner so I could fit it as far out into this corner as possible and then I just super glued it in and it worked. So uh, I bought this quarter inch loom here to cover the green wire it comes with. Uh, another cool thing I did is, uh, first of all, this is the wand that it comes with, quite a bit smaller than the Matty wand. So what I did is I took off the clip art thing off this wand and I put it, uh, I took this off, cut whatever was there and I glued it on here, taking off all the stickers and tape and put this on just because this hole is actually supposed to come a little further they kind of cheaped out actually on the box you can kind of see that they kind of cheaped out because originally it was supposed to come all the way out and it also came with three ribbons but you'll see in the final product you only get one so uh, make sure to look out for that but so what I did is uh, yeah just just to extend it a little more and the original pack does have a tube that kind of comes out there uh, what else so for the ribbon all I took is this uh, steel blade here and just cut along there and I just had to drill this hole a little bigger and just they're just loosely fit in there and it works. Uh, as far as how I got the Matty wand on there, uh, I was fortunate enough to find in my garage some uh, aluminum plate. So all I did is take whatever's there, there's four screws that was on there with the original uh, plug hole. So I just made a couple plates, certain size, and it just worked out that it fits in there like a glove. Uh, one of the big questions is how do I connect the Matty wand to this? Um, that's also a fluke, that's why I have this apple cider vinegar bottle here. Is I just found it in my recycle bin and I just cut the cap off of this and just all fluke, but all I did is drill a hole into this cap and then I managed to put a screw in there into the audio jack and it doesn't uh, damage the jack and it fits in there and then the other half I cut the, the part off put it onto this loom here and found this little screw 
which doesn't interfere this and then now I just screw it back in place and you're, you're good to go. I am going to be buying the 3D molded uh, attachment that you see on GB fans in time because I do want to get the AV uh, hookup but that's in time. I've already spent enough money on this this year. Uh, so last but not least I'm going to open this up. Uh, I should also show, oh yeah, so here's the lights I installed. I didn't buy the GB fans. I will be buying it. For some reason I didn't wasn't aware of it, so I found these on eBay off a different buyer. Uh, I used a switch, I installed a switch up here from a lighting kit. I had fun in the basement, just a switch back of that. So I just installed that on top here, where that hole, where the stra old strap used to be. So you guys might appreciate this, but I did add an Alice pack. I managed to find some uh, black plastic sheet from a nearby sign place. It was just a cutoff, sold it to me for 10 bucks. I uh, screwed it into the same spots that it came with because it originally comes with uh, a cardboard backing with some felt uh, top on top glued on. So there's five screws. So all I did is I used those five screws, put it in place, and then the Alice pack I made its own four screws and put uh, some some spacers in between. So let's. Uh, Let's open this puppy up right now. I'll show you what's inside. So, let's open this puppy up. So here you go, here's the plastic piece with the, uh, the Alice pack. I'll put that aside. So as you can see, I added these steel uh, inserts because what was happening is opening and closing the pack was wearing out the threads. So by gluing these in, I'll never have to worry about that. Uh, the kit, I just taped this down. Everything else just loosely put. The switch to the battery to the lighting kit. Quite simple. I'll be uh, adding in some GB Fans uh, hardware maybe next year and the speaker and such and. Uh, yeah, that's about it. So if you guys have any more questions, I think I covered all of it. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, these white things are just, I uh, didn't want to risk painting it because it probably looked messy. So all I did is uh, use one of these electrical uh, connectors, use as a, just as a stencil onto a two-way, just white paper sticker stuff and just cut along and just stuck them in there and it worked great. So uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's my proton pack for Halloween and every other day I want to just walk to the mailbox and then get the mail and wear this thing. I think I'll look pretty badass. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, yeah, feel free to ask any questions. Alright, see you guys later.